how did you do in your KCSE? Uh, like I said, not the brightest, but I got a C minus. But yeah, that's where I was. Then that's where you moved into the hotel. Yeah, immediately. Because remember those days, um, our results used to come. Actually, by the time the results came out, I was already in Hilton. Yeah, the results used to come out in February. And by January, I was already in Hilton. So they came when I was already there. And that's why I just continued. And that's where now your journey into the customer service industry started. Yeah. Uh, how was your experience in Hilton? Hilton was another totally ball changer. Um, I was, after training in all those departments, finally I was confirmed. And so I, I worked at the switchboard for almost a year and then I moved to reception and that's where I was. I was handling groups and I was also handling uh, crews eventually in the five years I was there. It was really nice. I had um, new sets of friends. Now I started discovering myself. I started interacting with many people. I'm interacting with guests. I'm interacting with, and that's where my madness began. You remember, <laughs> most people make or break in from one form. To me, I was calm, calm, calm until I hit 21, 22 there. And that's when I was like a mad person. Had you left your auntie's place? Or you yes, had... I'd already left my auntie's place, but I was living in my parents, with my my parents now. So let's get into the madness. Yes. So what was the... <laughs> hey, that was madness. I look back, I'm like, what was that? I was now going out. I was, I, I was earning money. My first salary, I'll never forget, was 1,142. I think in the current... It was like 200,000. I don't know, because I was doing so many things and still had money till the end, till the next salary. Uh, and in the hotel industry, every 15th, we get service charge. It's a profit the hotel makes. So that one, everybody gets the same. If everyone got 6,000, then everybody got 6,000. Now imagine that 6,000, then plus my 1,000. And this um, um, service charge comes on 15th. So I still have my salary coming. Now even my parents, can they tell me anything? No, I am clever. I know everything. I have my own money. I remember my mom was trying to talk to me and was telling me, you're not creating a good impression for your brother and younger sister. My late sister Violet had gone abroad. She went to India to do her law. And even when she came back, she still went to the UK to do her master's. So there's a gap there when she was away most of the time. So I was with my other sister now, Diana, and uh, my brother. And it's like you come late, sometimes you don't come. And, and I'm like, I am a grown up now. <laughs> and my mom was like, yeah, but you're in my house. And I was like, ah, whatever, man. Yeah, but uh, it, it, it was not good. When I look back, I'm like, oh, my God. Um, and I, and I, I came home one day and I found they had told me, look, I would come even two days, I don't come, but I have the key to the house, so I would just come and go to my room and sleep. Hey, one day my mom told me, Apana, now, I came home, I think, one early year. By the way, when I got the job the first year, I was a bit calm. Not that I got the job and I lost it, no. It was like after two, three years, now is when I'm discovered. I, know. I finished my training, I'm employed. Even that one, I was still calm. I'm working on shifts. It was really crazy. Then um, that's the madness came a bit later. And now even my mom was like, no, you, you need to move out now. Then you can do whatever you want. I was like, ah. Now again, I start paying rent. So one day I came home, I found I'd been moved. <laughs> he moved me to another, in South Sea, in another SQ. I was like, hey, okay to be exciting and uh, it was not so exciting you know at the end of the day you still want to come home to a family you know every time I come from shifts I come to this lonely house I have to struggle and wash clothes I have to I have to plan my life now it's not that I come everything is done for me yeah that's where the madness was the madness was so madness that even in the process I lost my job you know because there was a big group that was to be handled and I didn't come to work yeah, I was ha having fun. Yeah, and the, unfortunately, the group did not get rooms on time because I was not there. Okay, it's not because I was not there, but because if I was there, there's a way I would have 
handle the group professionally. But the people I left were overwhelmed, so things went totally wrong. And that the company de demanded for compensation. And that's when, yeah, I had to leave. Yeah. What do you think caused uh, that other than, okay, obviously, the adolescence or growing up, but the shift from your auntie back home, do you think that resulted? Or I why think, do you think uh, that changed? I up? think it was also, I felt like some sense of freedom, which was not good. I think, and I, I think, I don't know how to put it, but I think you, uh, maybe I felt a bit locked up and also moving, moving. And now finally I had this freedom. I had a different uh, set of people that I'm dealing with. They had this freedom. So I was like, I don't need this anymore. But I believe it had an impact on me, on, on that somehow. Yeah. At this point, uh what is your interaction with church and uh, Christianity? No, not, no, nothing. I don't even know about it. Um, but um, one thing I forgot to mention is that when I was leaving my auntie, with my, aunt, with my auntie, we were praying every day. Uh, that was the first time I met the daily bread. So we would do it every day after dinner, sing a song from the golden bells and then pray and everything. So that I did even up to today. I read the daily bread, although now it's online. I do it every day after now. That had never left. So I did that even in my madness. But um, it's not the same now because I was just doing it because like it was routine. I need to brush my teeth. I need to shower. I need to read the daily bread. Yeah. And your parents, were they going to church? And my auntie and uncle, yes, they were going to friends' church. I was baptized in a friends' church. Uh, but my mom, not at the time. My parents, not at the time, no. Yeah. 